Praise God. Before I start, I want to say praise God that we're here. Today I want to talk about Samson. Now Samson was a man that had a gift from God. And that gift was huge strength. But God told Samson and his parents that the only way to get rid of his strength was to cut his hair. Let's talk about two examples about how he used his strength. One example was when Samson gave a rope to 30 men. And if the 30 men guess it's a riddle, they each get a piece of clothing. But they don't guess it, they give Samson 30 pieces of clothing. And Samson gave them a week to solve. They were stuck on this riddle for a couple of days. And then they went to Samson's wife and asked her for the answer. But she didn't know. So they asked her to go ask Samson. If she didn't, they would send fire to her house. So she begged Samson to give her the answer. And then he finally gives her the answer. And she goes and tells the 30 men. And when the day comes to answer the riddle, the 30 men give the answer. Samson knew that his wife gave them the answer. So I want to open to Judges chapter 14, verse 19. Again, that will be Judges chapter 14, verse 19. Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon him mightily, and he went down to Ashkelon and killed thirty of their men, took their clothing, and gave the changes of clothing to those who had explained the riddle. So his anger was aroused, and he went back up to his father's house. І віддав ті зміни одежі тим, що згадали загадку. І забалися в ній його, і він пішов додому батьків свого. Слава Богу! Another example when his own people had to tie him up and give him to the Philistines. And they tied him up with the strongest, the newest rope. And they sent him to the Philistines. And when he was there with the Philistines, they were going to kill him. But Samson broke the rope and killed thousands of them. So I want to open to Judges chapter 15, verse 15. Again, I read Judges chapter 15, verse 15. He found a fresh jawbone of a donkey, reached out his hand, and took it and killed thousands of men with it. І знайшов він свіжу послячу щелепу, і простяв свою руку, і взяв її, та й побив не тисячу чоловік. Next, I want to talk about Samson and Delilah. І слідуючи, хочу говорити про Самсона і Далілу. When Samson saw Delilah, і коли він бачив її, he fell in love. Він полюбив її. But he didn't know that Delilah was evil and wanted money. І не знав, що вона була зла і хотіла просто грошей. So one day the Philistines came to Delilah and said to her, If you tell us Samson's weakness, then we'll make you rich. So she goes to Samson and tries to find his weakness. And three times, Samson makes up a lie and fools her and the Philistines. And the fourth time, he tells the truth to Delilah. So I want to open to Judges chapter 16, verse 17. That would be again, Judges 16, verse 17. Then he told her all his heart and said to her, No razor has ever come upon my head, for I have been a Nazareth to God from my mother's womb. If I am shaven, then my strength will leave me and I shall become weak and be like any other man. When Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, 
She sent and called for the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come up once more, for he has told me all his heart. So the lords of the Philistines came up to her and brought the money in their hand. Then she wooed him to sleep on her knees, and she called for a man and had him shave off the seven locks of his head. Then she began to torment him, and his strength left him. And she said, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. So he awoke from his sleep and said, I will go as before at other times and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had departed from him. Then the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza. They brought him, they bound him with bronze fetters, and he became a grind in the prison. However, the hair of his head began to grow again after it had been shaven. Praise God. So. And then after that, the Philistines have a feast. So celebrate Samson's defeat. And when they are feasting, they bring Samson in front of them. And they make fun of him. Now the building where the Philistines were feasting, the building was supported by pillars. And they placed Samson between two of the pillars. And then when the Philistines were making fun of him, he prayed to God to give him strength and to make the building collapse on him, on him and the Philistines. And I want to read Judges chapter 16 verse 28. Again, that would be Judges 16 28. And Samson called the Lord, saying, O Lord God, remember me, I pray. Strengthen me, I pray, just this once, O God, that I may with one blow take vengeance on the Philistines from my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two metal pillars which supported the temple, and he braced himself against them, one on his right and other on his left. Then Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. And he pushed with all his might, and the temple fell on the Lord's and all the people who were in it. So the dead that he killed at his death were more than he had killed in his life. Praise God. Samson was a great man created by God. He had a great gift from God. If only he wasn't deceived by Delilah, he could have done many great things. He was on earth to do God's work. We can learn from Samson that we have our talents or gifts and we should serve in God's name with those. Or to do His work He wanted us to do. Also stand with God. Because if we start walking away from God, bad things can start happening to us. In the end, use your gifts to do God's work and stand with Him. Let's bow down on our knees and pray.